Hey, soul family. How y'all doing? Welcome back. It's your girl, Unknown Goddess. All right, y'all. Got to get the breakfast shake in the morning. Got to get it in. I chug at least two of these a day. Y'all, get it popping, baby. Eat your body in health. All right, let's call it some protective energy. Thank you for joining me, you guys. I welcome you all back with love, light, and peace. Um, If you are seeking a personal reading, all that information will be in my description box below. All right. Um, let's call in some protective energy. Mother Isis, Father God, as I open these rooms. Protect my energy, aura, and psyche. Give me clear on as much as this for those who need to hear it. Use me as a vessel, so mote it be. All right, you guys, thank you all for, again, for joining me. Thank you for your love and support for my channel. I really, truly appreciate you guys. All right, let's see what's popping. Let's see what's popping. Let's see what's popping. I haven't used this deck in a little bit. Remember, your break is only 20 minutes. Okay, all right, let's see what we got. Oh. Ah, forgiveness. Forgiveness. All right. Forgiveness. Even if, even if you don't love me anymore. All right, let's see what's popping, my collective. So, obviously, yeah, insecurity is here. Forgiveness is here. Mm. I feel like somebody is definitely carrying some childhood wounds here around. Ooh. But with the discovery card here, it's all about... It's like the pain and the hurt that you've gone through or this person has gone through. It has taught you to learn to love yourself, to forgive those around you who done you wrong, whether it's your parents, family members, lovers, friends, anybody, all right? These are the same people that would try to stampede all over your confidence or have stampede all over your confidence, have tried to make you think differently of yourself, make you feel as if you're not a whole person, and so I feel like with the forgiveness, insecurities here, because you can see it's a stab to the heart. Look at that devil. Look at that devil. This is when I see this devil card in those layers. See those different layers going around this devil energy? This is like bloodline energy. This is energy that there's different, there's like piles and piles and piles of hurt and, and insecurities and deception and lie and pain and that has been inflicted onto this person. And so it was time to release that. Yeah, here it is at the, at the bottom of the card. It's time to release that. You see what I'm saying? This is generations and generations of, of, of hurt and, and bloodline curses and energies that have been passed on. There go, you see all them graveyards that have been passed on. It's time to bury it. It's time to bury it. If you were in a if you have a family members that try to make you feel like you should stay in the realms of these repetitive karmic cycles or try to make you feel as if um, that, you know, they try to make it seem as if you're not better than them or if you're doing things differently because you are different. We all have our own unique path. These people will try to guilt you into staying in this energy right here. All right. These people will prey on your sacral chakra, how you feel about yourself. You know what I'm saying? How you honor yourself, how you cherish yourself, how you view yourself. They would want to keep their foot on your neck. And so with that, with the insecurities and the guilt trip here, it this not only played in your families, but it also played in your um, romantic relationships as well, too. It was like you were accepting things that you grew up seeing in your family from other, from other people, whether it was friends, ex-lovers, -lo husband, wife, whoever. See what I'm saying? But when you learn to discover yourself, you decided, no, I'm going to learn. I'm going to grow. Uh, it's time for growth. I got to plant new roots. I got to uproot all the things that have been instilled in me as a child. And I got to let it go. This ain't me. I'm not y'all. We are not the same. We are all cut from a different cloth. Yes, I'm from a, that bloodline. But we're all cut from a different cloth. Yes, I've been through some treacherous um 
paths. And yes, I've been through some heartbreaking relationships, domestic violence, verbal abuse, physical abuse, emotional abuse, whatever it may be. But I can't continue this pattern. I'm done. I'm done. I'm tired of the trickery. I'm tired of the trickery. You know what I'm saying? No more lying to myself. No more sitting in this complacency and making it seem like I'm okay with it. I want joy. Look what's peaking. Joy. This is what you want. Happiness. All right? Yes. I want the freedom to... Um, okay, so I'm hearing that saying, let every voice that sings to earth and heaven ring, ring with the harmony of victory. Let our rejoicings rise, rise with the listening skies. I don't know if I'm saying the lyrics correct, my collective, but forgive me, okay? All right, yeah, this is you dealing with people who, like I said, accepting things that no longer serves you, all right? No more no more accepting those things. No more accepting the pain, the hurt. You're not going to guilt me into staying with you. You're not going to make me feel as if I should, you know, feel as if I, like I feel. No, that's y'all feeling that way. Y'all ain't going to project y'all insecurities onto me and make me try to feel guilty. No, no. Learn to forgive. Whatever childhood wounds they got, they need to learn to forgive. Move on. Let it go. There's nothing we could do about the past. The past is in the past and it's time to move forward. And I will not let my past dictate my future. You feel me? Emperor energy, honey. I've, I've, I've matured. Some of y'all, some of y'all are dealing with father issues. Some of y'all are dealing with men. You know, they say a woman marries her father or end up dating her father. So if your father was abusive, your grandfather did the same to your grandmother. And or you you grew up as a masculine, seeing your father being this energy. I'm hearing a pimp. Okay, now I don't know who's that for, but if you grew up in this cycle where this masculines were always dominating, or you are in this, or you're a feminine energy, but you always felt as if you had to be a man. You stay, you lived in your masculine energy more. It was like no, I have to see things. I have to see things from a higher perspective. You know, yes, I'm wiser. Yes, I'm going to take all that I've learned and all that I've been through. But I'm gonna, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger and it makes you wiser. See what I'm saying? So for some of y'all here, it's, it's a feminine living in her, was living in her masculine energy. Felt as if you had to always de defend yourself. Always felt the need to always protect yourself because this is what you were hiding. This or this person. You feel me? <sighs> this person says that's the truth. There it is. You got to learn to forgive. Accept the apologies that you never received, my collective. There go that page of cups, Prince of Cups energy. Okay? Yes, because you feel as if you are missing out on so much in life with that four of cups. Remember, these people are going to try to keep you here in this with their insecurities and try to make you feel guilty because misery love company with that four of cups. And you can't have that, my collective. Yeah, the deception, the betrayal, the heartache, the stabs in the back. It was time to let go. It was time to let go with that nine of wands. Let it go. Time to let go and heal. Yes, your faith have been tested over the time, but guess what? It was time to let go of this energy. These people wanted to play on your emotions with that moon in the background. That's what they were doing, playing with your mind and your head. But guess what? You decide to see things from a higher perspective. You start to see the truth of the matter that these people that you were surrounding yourself with, the only reason why they were mad is because they knew who you were. They knew who you were before you even knew who you were. You see what I'm saying? They knew that you always had a calling over your life. So with this discovery, honey, you found yourself. You know who you are. You decide, I'm going to focus on my growth. I'm going to focus on being joyful. I'm not going to hold anybody responsible for my happiness. No more. With the joy card and the growth card here, look at that. No more. I'm done. I see things from a higher perspective. Okay. I learned to accept the apologies that I was never received, but I forgive myself. I apologize to me. Page of Cups and Forgiveness is here. I apologize to me. I love me. No more pain. No more pain. I'm hearing that Mary J. Blige song. No more pain. No more hurt. All right? Tired of the lies. So with the Ace of Swords and the King of, and the Emperor and the Page of Cups and the Four of Cups, these people over here feeling miserable. And the fact that you don't want you don't want anything from them anymore, it kills them. It kills them because, like I said, with the Four of Cups, misery, love. Look how they're trying to cover up that fourth cup. Look at that rose that's being covered by that glass. They try to keep you under a glass. They try to keep their foot on your neck. But no, we ain't doing that, boo boo. Y'all can stay over here with y'all dark depression. 
Y'all can stay over here with all this dark depression. Y'all can stay over here with all that mental anguish. Y'all can stay over here in that, that deep, dark place, in that dark night of the soul, because a lot of them are stuck there. Okay? Yeah, stay right there. I'm all set. This is something coming from forefathers, foremothers. You feel me? Nine of Wands. I'm moving on, baby. I'm resilient. And you stood steadfast through this, all through this, through the hurt and the pain. You feel me? But no more. I'm focused on my growth and my stability. I'm going to do me. I'm going to do me. Y'all can stay over there with all that. You feel me? So you had to remove yourself. And I feel like a lot of y'all, you really, yeah, King of Swords, honey. With the King of Swords here, honey, you, you had to see things for what it is, see the truth. But you also had to be determined to get yourself up out of that. Y'all had to be very determined to set boundaries and see the truth. And whether they wanted to face it or not, you decide to take authority over your life with that King of Swords energy. You decide to take authority over your life. For some of y'all, it's somebody that you divorced. Somebody you had to divorce. Okay, yeah. What did I see pulling this, pulling itself out here? I see the strength card here. You have to really stand in your power and realize, like, look, y'all ain't going to be able to tame me no more. No more controlling over my life. How about I learn to forgive myself and be and show compassion onto me because I'm a natural born leader. That's what I'm born to do. I'm born to lead. And that's what I'm about to, that's what I'm going to do. So y'all, when y'all took that upon yourselves, yeah, look at that. King of wands energy. I can't make it up. Natural born leader, but with the three of wands, seven of wands energy, three of wands, seven of wands. Let me focus on my future. I want more out of life. I don't want to stay in the same realms. I don't want to repeat the cycles of the family members. I want to be the first to buy a home. I want to be the first to graduate from college. I want to be the first. To, I want to break the generational curses. I want to break the pattern of old habits. Let me focus on that and protect myself. So with the seven of wands energy, honey, you have to. This is 10 wands altogether. Seven and three is 10. We're breaking that cycle. I'm done. It's over. No more burdens. No more pain. I am willing to protect myself at all costs. Necessary. And the fact that you are so resilient, nine of wands with the strength card, you are so strong, you are so bold, you are so brave. These people, because you're in this energy of being bold and brave and taking risks and taking chances with yourself, it showed up these people. You made these people, to them, you made them look bad. Because they weren't bold enough to take that leap of faith, because they weren't bold enough to take risks and try new things, they make it seem as if you're acting as if you're better than them. Nah, or this lover feels insecure because he or she got mommy and daddy issues. What the fuck that got to do with me? You go out there, you're making a little bit more than your ex, than your boyfriend or your girlfriend. You, They start making you feel like, oh, you think because you make more money than me or you got a better career than me. Shit like that. I'm just giving it, I'm just throwing examples out here, my collective. You feel me? People's like they want you to dim your light so they can feel comfortable. Hell nah. Hell no. Go sit down somewhere with all that. Take several seats all the way the fuck back. You you tripping out here. Are you kidding? Y'all tripping out here. Y'all want me to dim my light? They wanted my collective to dim their light so they can feel comfortable? So they want you to blanket their insecurities? I think the fuck not. Go and find yourself. Go do you. I'm too much for you. I uh, then back, stayed away in hell from me. Stay away from me. As a matter of fact, I could I could better show y'all than I could tell y'all. Let me remove myself. Let me turn my back on y'all. Let me block all of y'all. Cause what we're not, what I'm, what we're, what my collective is not gonna do is dim their light to please these insecure motherfuckers. Nah, they're dealing with a lot of abuse. You know what I'm saying? That's where they're coming from. You know. And maybe you grew up in the same home with some of these family, these family members that's been through the same thing. But because you overcame it, they wanted you to stay in the pits of hell with them. They wanted you to be stuck in the past with them. No, I decide to outgrow that shit. I decide to let it go. I decide to be a better man than my father has ever been. I decide to date somebody or be a better person, more wiser, more stronger, see things from a higher perspective, get mental clarity of who I am. And when you found the truth about who you are, that discovery brought a lot of joy and brought a lot of growth. And they envy you for this. They're mad at you for this because they feel as if you left them out in the cold. No, you're leaving yourself out in the cold because you decide to stay there. Move the fuck on and grow up. You feel me? So you're not doing that anymore. 
They can't guilt you anymore. They can't make you feel guilty for you wanting to be you. They can't make you feel guilty because you decide to expand and grow and see things from a higher perspective and learn to forgive and heal and move on. So they feel as if you left them out in the cold. Yeah, there it is. Then I tell you, you healed. You're healed. You decide to restore yourself. You decide to pour into yourself. You took the time patiently to grow and believe and believe in yourself and move on. You see what I'm saying? And it's shocking to them because now they you don't want to deal with their chaos and their drama and the upheavals anymore in your life. You're here and they're here. Two different ends of, sides of the spectrum. Two different ends of the spectrum here. You see what I'm saying? So they got to stay over there with that. Yeah, three of cups, honey. You're celebrating life. You're celebrating you already went back to the past. You healed the issues from the past. You moved on. You see what I'm saying? They still right here. Right here. Still can't let it go. Well, I ain't doing that. I'm doing me, baby, and I'm happy. Eight of Pentacles. It took hard work. It took hard work. And some of y'all even bossed up on a whole nother level. Like I said, some of y'all was the first to go to college. Some of y'all was the first to start your own business. Some of y'all was the first to do something in your bloodline energy. You're probably working more money than your lover. They got you feeling like you shouldn't be working so hard. And then when they when you sit down with them or you didn't want to sit down with them, they can't provide it though. They can't provide it, but they want you to sit there with them. You, But you can't provide it though. Really? Yo, I mastered my skills. Yeah, there they go. There go the five of wands. Jealousy, com competitive, arguments, want to fight with you. Nah, we ain't doing that, baby. Stay over there with that. Stay over there with that. Stay over there. We ain't doing all that. I'm done. What's this? Ace of Pentacles. I can't make it up. Ace of Pentacles to and the high priest or high priestess. There it go, baby. New money opportunities. Didn't I tell y'all some of y'all started y'all own business? Some of y'all went back to college. I did see the Hierophant here. Here it is peeking. There go that Hierophant. Some of y'all went back, got a, 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 a master's degree. You learned, you learned, you decide you were working and going to school at the same time, busting your ass to get what you wanted to get so you could earn this Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, some of y'all have. You see what I'm saying? Some of y'all right here in this divine, high, high, um, divine feminine, divine masculine energy, very intuitive, highly intuitive. Some of y'all were being judged. For the fact that you are very spiritual, okay? Uh, that's what I'm picking up here as well. Some of y'all were being judged for being very spiritual. For not being, for you were hiding your authentic, not being able to, being around these people, you weren't able to be your authentic self. You understand? But you have to step out. You have to step out. No more being in secret about who I am. I'm coming out. I'm strong. I'm bold. I'm resilient. I'm an earth angel. I'm here to be a healer of the earth. This is what I do. I can't help it. I'm here to spread wisdom and knowledge as the emperor. This is what I do. I'm here to help people, enlighten people, and, sh and give them mental clarity and give them the truth. That's what I'm here to do. I'm only spitting the truth. That's all, that's all I'm here to do. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, some of y'all are, are counselors here, spiritual counselors. Um, some of y'all went back to school for, to be a, a counselor. Something in this higher form of education here. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, two of swords. You have to block these people. Two of swords. You see these people as a stalemate, my collective. Indecisive. Back and forth. This is where they wanted you to stay trapped all up in your mind. This is where they wanted you. Look at all this over here. Ten of Swords, Five of Pentacles, Five of Wands, Nine of Wands, Four of Cups, Tower. All over here is the Temperance, Earth, uh, the Ace of Swords, the Higher Fent, the Ace of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Joy, Growth, Discovery, High Priestess, Strength, King of Swords, Three of Wands, baby. You got the foresight, okay? You got the foresight. You, you got that spiritual eye. Yes, you do. Some of y'all are tarot card readers. Some of y'all are spiritual healers. This is what you do for work. But guess what? It goes against a lot of these family members' beliefs. It go, your, your spiritual practice goes against a lot of y'all family beliefs. They, they, they're stuck in this paradigm of beliefs of whatever it is with the religion, church. It doesn't matter. There's nothing wrong with that. But don't come judging me. Don't come making me feel insecure like what I'm doing is wrong. You see what I'm saying? This is how we worship ever since your grandmother, your great-grandmother, your foremothers, your forefathers. What is this you're doing? Some of them was just basing, laughing at you and judging you based on your spiritual gifts. 
But it's making you a lot of money, though. It's bringing, it's bringing clarity, though. You're celebrating life with it, though. Huh? Okay, now. You're an earth angel. That's what you're here to do, to heal. That's what you do, my collective. And you don't spit nothing but the truth. But guess what? Your truth is bringing you joy. And that's all that matters. That's why you can celebrate and live your best life. Okay? So it doesn't matter, my collective, what these people think. It's bringing in stability, yo. It's bringing in new opportunities, though. You going to college and working that money or getting that degree or whatever it is you want or becoming that entrepreneur, though. You, you're, you're licensed to kill, baby. And I don't mean in a physical way, but you're licensed to kill the game. Take it over. Do what you want to do. Start that business. Push that key. It's yours. Buy your first home. It's yours. You feel me? You're sitting on that throne, though. Because why? You are a star, my collective. You are aligned to your purpose. You kept the hope even though these people was trying to drain you. Even though these people was trying to hurt you. That's okay. You stay resilient the whole way through. You fought your way to the top. It wasn't given to you. Because when you got to break patterns like this, and when you got to break patterns like this, it's very shocking to a lot of people to see where you're at right now, though. Hmm? It's very shocking to them. And they thought all this conflict that the devil has inflicted and put in your path. Remember, they're, they're empty vessels being used by these dark entities that was they were used to, to, to stop you from your growth, to stop you from being who you are or who you are destined to be, I should say. They can't change your destiny. That's what mankind cannot do. I don't care. Well, they can't change it. They can only delay it. They can only cause blockages and confusions to defer you from your path. But you never gave up hope on yourself and you never gave up hope in God or what you, or who you believe in. You see what I'm saying? You kept the faith. You held it even though there was towers after towers, chaos and upheaval. You still fought your way through. You still kept your eye on the prize. You knew in your higher consciousness that there was going to be a better day to come. And that's why you're here as this star card, high priestess energy, divine energy. You feel me? Because you're chosen, my collective. You are chosen. So stand in your power, baby. Because even though they try to break you, you're still here. Like Kelly Clarkson said, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Makes you stand a little taller. And you'd be damned if anybody come in to interrupt your peace and your growth. Because it took patience and persistence. That's what it took. It took patience and persistence, even though they didn't want you to see the truth, even though they wanted you to stay in this mental state of confusion and indecisiveness. They wanted to keep your mind in fear and keep you entrapped. You see what I'm saying? But you decided not to do that because I love me. And that's what it comes down to. All right. All right, my beautiful soul subscribers. I'm proud of y'all for doing this. I'm proud of y'all for overcoming the, the, the relationships and the generational curses because it ain't easy. It ain't easy, but that instant, that all that right there, this is what they was projecting onto you. Whatever childhood wounds that they wanted you to stay in, you decide you can't do that no more. I got to discover me and what I discovered, I love who I am and I'm going to stand in my power. You feel me? And that's the truth spirit says. You got mental clarity. You see things from a higher perspective and you're tempered. You've healed patiently, went through with God and your angels and you've healed. You took your divine guidance. And you took it and you ran with it. So, yeah, it's okay. That's all right, my collective. I wish you guys love and light. You could tell them to kiss you. You know what? And keep it pushing. And some of y'all ain't even there. You don't even care because I'm, I'm feeling a real calm, humbling spirit. I feel like you guys don't even care what these people think anymore. And you have learned to forgive them and accept the apologies that you never received. Because you learned to forgive yourself and apologize to you. And that's all that matters. You feel me? Yeah, let them stay right here in this complacent energy. Because this is where they wanted to keep you. But you ain't doing that. You know what I'm saying? You don't want no problems, no known problems with me. Listen, they see you humble now. But don't wake the lion up in me. You feel me? <laughs> don't wake the lion up in me. All right? Or the lioness. Don't wake it up. Not because you see me humble. Don't think I'm sleeping because I ain't sleeping. You feel me? That's what's going on with these karmics. But I wish you all love, light, and peace. If you enjoy this read, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And um, hit me up. Bye.